We all must have seen one or the other Disney princess movie and imagine how amazing the kind of love would be. Having a charming prince coming to save you when you're in trouble. Having the kind of forever love with another prince from a distant land. Going through thick and thin with your prince or princess and making it to the end. Well, that is the sort of prince and princess love we have seen in movies and have read in books. But this raises a quick question. What is brewing between Princess Leonor and Crown Prince Malay Hassan? Well, let's find out. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Not so long ago, on the 1st of August 2022, the King and Queen of Spain accompanied by their two daughters, Princess Leonor and Princess Sofia, visited the Cartua de Valdemosa. They were on a family vacation and had to come to have a good time. This royal Spanish family always makes sure to have an eventful family vacation with a multitude of performances and events. With the princes busy with their education in Wales and the family having a massive number of commitments, it was a big deal for them to be present together as the gorgeous family they are. The press was obviously ready and alert to capture the family enjoying their vacation. This also happened to be the first time all four members of the family were seen together since their arrival in Mallorca. The reception of King Felipe VI at the Alamudina Palace was done by the authorities of the region. It was quite a grand welcome and this was also captured by the press. At this point in time, the press managed to capture an image of Princess Leonor wearing a necklace. You may wonder how a necklace can spark rumors, but this one actually did. When the Spanish royal family visited the charter house of Valdemosa on August 1st, Princess Leonor was seen wearing a necklace with something written in the Arabic language. No one really noticed it until the images came out, sparking all sorts of rumors. The necklace was quite a simple one. Nothing too fancy or made of diamonds or any sort of precious stone. It had the word Chab written in its pendant, which in English translates to love. It was just a matter of time before everyone was asking the big question. Was the necklace given to Princess Leonor by the Moroccan Crown Prince Malay Hassan? But before we get into that, let's give you a brief on who these two royals are. Princess Leonor is the first daughter of King Felipe VI of Spain and Queen Letitia, and she also happens to have a younger sister, Princess Sophia. Princess Leonor is a major part of the Spanish royal family and was born on the 31st of October 2005, and she's 17 years of age. She's to be the future Queen of Spain when she comes of age. As of now, she has moved to Wales to study at the International School of UWC Atlantic College, which is located in the Vale of Glamorgan in Wales. Quite a few royal members have secured an education from there. Crown Prince Malay Hassan of Morocco is the eldest child of King Mohammed VI of Morocco and Princess Lala Salma. He also has a younger sister, Princess Lala Khadija. This crown prince was given the name after his grandfather Hassan II. Once the crown prince ascends the throne when he comes of age, his regal name will be Hassan III. He was born on the 8th of May 2003 and is 19 years of age. According to certain sources, the necklace was given to Prince Leonor by the Moroccan Crown Prince Malay Hassan as a gift. In fact, there have been rumors that the two of them have been sharing private messages with each other for a while now. Whether this fact is true or not is something that only they know. Periodista Digital further added that the news of the necklace being given to Princess Leonor by Crown Prince Malay Hassan as a symbol of their love was not shut down by the Royal Palace of Spain. This raised further speculations, but Periodista Digital also stated that the necklace may have been given to the princes by the prince's former Brazilian partner in order to send a hidden message to him. Well, if that is what she was trying to do, a message was truly sent, but the media and her fans took it to a whole new level. Social media was filled with these speculations, and it went on for quite a while. They further looked into how the future would be if Malay Hassan and Leonor would be united by marriage. Would love win between the princes and the crown prince? Or would they have to pick their huge responsibilities to their countries over their alleged love? That is something only time will tell. According to Spanish newspaper El Español, the princes and the crown prince have been called soulmates. They further added that Princess Leonor and Crown Prince Malay Hassan of Morocco have quite a lot in common than we are aware of. The two of them are the future heirs to their respective regions, and they both happen to be quite close to their mothers. The two of them are just two and a half years apart in terms of their age, making their pair quite ideal. Connoisseurs of the Spanish royal family have stated that the princess is often found taking advice from her mother and father with regard to a lot of things. As for Crown Prince Malay Hassan of Morocco, local media that has been close to the Moroccan royal family has stated that Lala Salma's Crown Prince Malay Hassan's mother, opinion on her son's life is decisive, may it be a personal decision or an institutional decision. 
Some local journalists who have been writing about the first Alawita family for quite some time have confirmed the previously mentioned fact as well. While the news of the King of Morocco being smitten by the Queen of Spain in the future could surely make some big headlines. In fact, they could become the new royal couple of the decade if they do make it together. But as of now, these are just a bunch of rumors that have not been confirmed by either the princes nor the crown prince. But the possibility of such an affair in the future may still happen, as these two seem to be friends who get along pretty well. In fact, the historical links between Spain and Morocco run deep. Though the two nations vary quite drastically in terms of landscape, culture, and language, their history has always kept them together. Arabs ruled Spain for eight centuries, and the influence they had on the land was massive. But Spain also happened to have quite an influence in the Moroccans, and that was not something that was anticipated. Both the princes and the crown prince love their countries, and even at such a young age are quite patriotic about their respective regions. They love their people and are truly going to become great rulers in the future. They both have been groomed to rule over their respective countries ever since they were children, leading both of them to have had a similar upbringing and probably thinking processes too. But not so long ago, the princess was on the news for having a huge crush on someone who was quite rich, but unfortunately not of royal blood. Yes, we're talking about her massive crush on the Spanish footballer Gavi, who you may have seen plenty of times performing greatly at the recent FIFA World Cup 2022. According to sources, she even has a bunch of pictures of him that she carries around in her school folder. Her father, who was witnessing the match between Spain and Costa Rica, went up to Gavi after that match and even told him how big of a fan his daughter is of his. Gavi was quite kind enough to send a side shirt back with the king to give to his daughter. We're pretty sure she must have been on cloud nine in receiving such a splendid gift. Do you think this princess will tie the knot with the crown prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco to strengthen the ties between the two nations? Or do you think this crush that she has over Spanish footballer Gavi may turn into something serious, crushing the hopes of a Spanish princess and Moroccan crown prince's union? Do let us know in the comment section below. But before you do that, do like this video, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be in the loop of what's going on here. See you soon!